Hello dear children. I hope you all are taking good care of yourself at your home. Children, today we will be continuing with our previous topic housing and clothing. In our previous class, we learned about the different types of houses. Now, let's see what we will learn in today's class. Today we will learn about qualities that make a house good, ways to keep a house clean, clothes and fibers. So, let's start today's class. Qualities that make a house good. Doors and windows. A house should have doors and big windows to let fresh air and sunlight in. Sunlight kills the germs and keeps the house warm in winter. Fresh air makes the house airy and keeps it cool in summer. High roofs and thick walls. The walls of the house should be thick. It helps to keep the house warm in winter and cool in summer. High roofs allow free flow of air inside the house and keep it cool. Open spaces Open spaces like the veranda, courtyard, lawn and balconies make a house airy. It also gives a space to the children to play. Ways to keep a house clean. All the things should be kept at the right place. Children, you should always keep your bags, books, uniform and toys in the right place. You should keep the room neat and clean. Waste material and garbage should be put in a closed dustbin. We should not throw them in the open area as these can spread germs and diseases. Dusting and cleaning of the floor should be done regularly. Wash basins and washrooms should be cleaned every day. No water should be allowed to collect in and around the house. Children, do you know? Mosquitoes and germs breed in this dirty water and spread diseases like malaria and chikungunya. Some plants around the house make the air clean. So, we should keep our surroundings green and clean. Clothes and fibers. We wear clothes to cover our body. Clothes also protect us from heat, cold, rain and insect bites. Clothes are made of thin thread-like structures called fibers. Fibers for clothes. Clothes are made from natural and man-made or synthetic fibers. Natural fibers. We get natural fibers both from plants and animals. Natural fibers include cotton, jute, silk, wool and fur. We get cotton from cotton plant and jute from jute plant. Fibers from animals. We get silk from silkworm. We get wool and fur from sheep.
Synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are man-made and are made from chemicals. Nylon, rayon and polyester are the examples of synthetic fibers. They are usually stronger than the natural fibers. Clothes protect us from heat. In summer, we like to wear cotton clothes. Cotton soaks the sweat fast and keeps the body cool. There are tiny holes in cotton cloth which allows the air to pass in and out. Clothes protect us from cold. During winter, we wear woolen clothes. Wool keeps the body warm. It traps air and does not allow the heat to escape. Clothes protect us from rain. During rainy season, we need to wear raincoats. They are made from waterproof material and protect us from getting wet. Synthetic clothes are also good in rainy season as they are wrinkle free and dry easily. So children, I hope you all have understood the topic clearly. That's all for today. Thank you. Have a good day.